Hey everybody, happy Saturday. We are Facebook Live today. I am Melissa Banker, your Texas Farmers Insurance Agent and CEO of agencyforce.com. So let's have an update on how our little chicks um, are doing. So have you been watching, you know, I brought these home, was it last week, the week before? Something like that. Okay, so let me show you if I can catch them, hold on. Ah. All right, hold on. Okay. These are what we call naked necks. Why, as you can tell, they have naked necks. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. Okay, Oops. All right. So, these two are called Polish because they will have some crazy hair on top there. Very cute. Now these are ba um, frizzle bantams, which means their hair and their feathers grow up, kind of like having a perm. See? Oh, they have, a, don't look at their bottom, that's stinky and gross. Okay, so I wanna show you a difference. These chickens are about the same age, okay? This is a regular sized chicken, like a standard breed chicken. This is a bantam, right? Big difference. Okay, now here's something super, super fun. You are very beautiful. Good job. You are doing a great job. Okay. Bantams are basically about the half, half the size of regular standard chicken breed. As you can tell, they're very small. Now, here's a cool announcement. I am going to hatch the smallest chicken breed in the world. What? I know, let's talk about that. So, the, the ban this is a bantam. The smallest chicken breed in the world is called a cerama. It is half the size of this. So, I'm gonna show you how I do that. So, hi, Hanky. You look mighty handsome in a new kerchief. Look at that. Mm-hmm, very nice. Okay, I will show you what I purchased because with ceramas, they're not very, easily accessible, like you just can't go to Tractor Supply and just purchase them. So they're typically sold by breeders. And this morning I went to Red Oak, Texas. Red Oak, Texas is um, a rural community. Super nice people. I drove an hour there to pick up my, my fertilized eggs. Now these are different than my non-fertilized eggs from my chickens, and we'll show you that. But I decided to incubate them myself. Now. All these chickens are not mine. They're act some of them are actually saved for some friends and family who wanted some ridiculously weird turkins. I like how some of y'all comment that these are so ugly they're cute. That's not true, you're just super cute. Like look at your neck. You are so adorable. Don't listen to the haters, they're cute. Okay, all right, so I bought this here. This is a really great incubator. It's called a Brincy. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Thank you, like you're totally in my shot, dude. Like, scram, scram. Okay, it's an automatic egg turner because, you know, I'm, uh, I don't have time to like, like turn them myself. Okay, so you put the eggs here. We'll do that right now. These are the fertilized eggs. I actually bought literally seven because I have seven slots that go right here. Okay, thank you, please don't eat them. Okay, there we go, almost done. Okay, now compared to these egg sizes to my breakfast eggs, you know, as you can tell, there's a difference. Thank you, move! Okay, right, this is regular egg from regular chickens. Oh, you wanna see my beautiful eggs? They're nice, they're green and green bluish. Okay, so I will, it's about 21 days to get these to actually hatch. So I will keep you posted on how it goes. And you can find out how it's coming along. Hatching the world's smallest chicken. They are itty, itty bitty and they're, from what I'm told, it takes five eggs. Surround my eggs to make up, I don't think that's right. One chicken egg. I don't know, maybe I'll make these for, for breakfast for 
Not these particularly ones for, um, for Emma. Anyhow, okay, that is our update with our little chicks. Come take a look at them. They're doing really, really well. All healthy. Don't look at that. That's really gross. But everyone's happy and healthy, so... Hi. Hi. Okay. All right. So thank you for um, joining me here on a Saturday afternoon on Facebook Live. I'm Melissa Banker, your Texas Farmers Insurance Agent and CEO of agencyfors.com. Mm. All right, guys, you got to make this happen.